So the other day in Trisha Paytas' video telling Dissocia did to stop bullying her, something that I didn't notice was in the description, there was a link to a video asking if Dissocia did is faking it. And I've received a lot of DMs about this video as well as this channel that seems to be from Trisha Paytas' quote unquote alter Tatiana. So let's talk about it in this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. So if you're someone like me who is actively trying to improve your mental and emotional well-being, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, so yeah. I, I just, I've received so many DMs about this. I just wanted to put a video out there, share my thoughts, opinions on it, and everything like that. But I don't like making videos unless I can provide all of you with something of value to take a look at your own mental health and possibly, you know, start working on some things that you may not have known were there. So I'm actually going to split this into two parts. I'm going to talk about something else before I dive into this new channel from Trisha Paytas' Alter. Tatiana, all right? So the other day, I got this DM from a young lady by the name of Katie. Katie, thank you for this DM. It says, hi Chris, I wanted to know what you think about Trisha Paytas sharing emails on her story, sharing people's emails who have sent her hate, but hiding emails of people who have sent her emails about how they support her with DID. I don't necessarily like Trisha, I've been trying to keep myself updated on the situation, and although I don't agree with sending her hate, I also don't agree with her sharing their email addresses to her audience. What do you think? You also probably won't see this, but I thought it is an interesting topic to mention. Thank you, Katie. And yes, I do see my DMs. So if any of you ever want to reach out, reach out. Um, I get a lot of DMs about people just ask me, you know, my thoughts or like resources to point them in the right direction for therapy or rehabs or books or whatever it is. So DM me anytime at The Rewired Soul on Instagram or Twitter. All right. So, um, yeah. What does this have to do with all of you? Okay. So we are going to be talking about the work of one of my favorite psychologists, Dr. Roy Baumeister, okay? This dude is amazing. So some of you know, like not only do I love psychology, but I also love philosophy. And Roy Baumeister, his story is he actually started out uh, with philosophy, but his parents were like, nah, man, you ain't going to college for philosophy. So he's like, okay, well, psychology is pretty close. And now he's one of the most famous psychologists for all of his research. A lot of his research had to do with willpower, also the science of evil. And now he has a brand new book called The Power of Bad, which is all about the negativity bias. Okay, so first, um, I don't have any screenshots of this. I saw this like the day after Trisha Paytas shared this, so I don't really know what those emails were. But anyways, I was going to say, I was going to say, <laughs> like, who sends nasty emails to like a, a celebrity or a pseudo celebrity, right? Who takes the time out of their day to do that? And I was like, wait a second, Chris. You do that. And real quick pause, real quick pause. I tell you guys this constantly throughout my videos, all right? Like we're constantly looking at others and judging others and we don't look at ourselves. And that is something I'm actively trying to do. So when I questioned, why are people sending these emails? I remembered, oh yeah, Chris, you used to do that way back in the day. So real quick story, back in my drug and alcohol addiction, when I was off my rocker and I was angry at the entire world, I sent the local Las Vegas weatherman a very nasty email. It was about one page, maybe two pages long. I did a video about this a couple years ago. But anyways, I was so upset at this weatherman for having inaccurate weather predictions. And I was like, how, how do you do this and not even apologize for your terrible weather predictions? Like, who does that, all right? So I empathize with those who are sending YouTubers or celebrities nasty emails, but I will tell you from my experience, it's because, it wasn't because of them. I was just angry at the world, right? And I was like, I can, I can, you know, put my anger out there on someone who may never see this and it's, it's not really going to affect anything. It was easier for me to yell at him than deal with the only stuff, uh, the only issues in my life. Funny story is years later, I actually found the guy on Twitter and I apologized to him and he's like, oh, you know, no big deal. Um, and he said he actually gets a lot of nasty emails. He's actually a weatherman in Sacramento now. Uh, his name is Darren Peck. But anyways, 
let's talk about the negativity bias. But first, I want to say, uh, you know, not only is it, you know, like you shouldn't be sending people nasty emails like that, but Trisha Paytas leaving their email addresses in there. It's kind of a jerk move, and I'm going to talk about her other jerk move in a minute. But anyways, so the negativity uh, bias, our brains are automatically prone to spot negativity. Um, in that book, The Power of Bad by Dr. Roy Baumeister, it's amazing. It goes through the whole science of it, and it, it explains why there, there are more there are more psychological studies on negativity than positive, right? And one of them is, is there's more statistics. He even discusses how um, there aren't opposites of certain negative words. Like, what is the, the opposite of like, you know, uh, evil, right? Um, and he goes through these different languages and stuff, and a lot of people don't even have words for it, right? And, you know, the positives don't have nearly as much effect as negatives. So what he discusses is for every one negative, on average, it takes four positives, all right? So one negative comment, it takes on average four positive ones to balance it out. But here's the kicker. For people who struggle with depression, it's about 10 or 12, okay? So if you're struggling with depression, one negative event hits you way harder than the positive event. So you need 12. So when I actually respond to this, responded to this DM about why Trisha Paytas might be, you know, um, posting the negative emails rather than the positive ones is regardless of what your thoughts or opinions are on Trisha Paytas, it, I would almost guarantee that she is, you know, going through it mentally uh, right now, right? And those negative emails are hitting her harder than any amount of support. Like uh, what I said in the DM is, let's, you know, let's give a conservative number of saying, let's say Trisha Paytas received 50 negative emails, just 50, all right? And that is a low number. If you combine all the comments she's getting and everything like that, let's say 50 negative emails, just emails specifically. Let's say that she is depressed. It would take 10 email, ten positive emails for every one negative email. So she would need 500 positive emails to counteract those 50 negative ones, okay? So what does that mean for me and you, okay? So if you're struggling with depression, recognize it and recognize the positive experiences you need. Um, something that I personally do is a gratitude list because I can't just go around <laughs> asking my friends like, hey, Hey, I just had a ne negative experience. Say, say 10 nice things to me, right? Like that is weird <laughs> and unrealistic. A gratitude list really helps me balance that out. It helps us hyper-focus on the good things in our life. And there are studies that back how gratitude actually helps improve your mental health. They did a, a study, where was it? Uh, I think it was University of Southern California where they had two groups and the group that did a gratitude journal for two weeks had decreases in depression and anxiety of upwards of 80%. So get you a gratitude journal, all right? So yeah, let's jump into this Tatiana uh, YouTube channel that just popped up. So, like I said, I didn't know she linked this in her video telling uh, the associate did to stop bullying her. And yeah, I've checked it over the last couple of days and everything and people are like, is this Trisha Paytas? Is this Trisha Paytas? I don't think so. I, I don't think it's Trisha Paytas. I don't think it's her alter. Um, I've seen some people saying, oh, it's one of, uh, Trisha Paytas got one of her friends to do this. I don't think so. You gotta understand, like even Onision has stands. Okay, um, I've seen in my comment section for people who think I'm attacking Trisha Paytas, you know, I've seen some of Trisha Paytas' hardcore fans, you know, come in and defend her. Like, just about no matter who you find, no matter what you think of them, you gotta realize there are people who absolutely love and adore them. And that's what I f think, or I assume, this account is. But, it was such a jerk move for Trisha Paytas to put that in the description. But Trisha Paytas does tend to share videos that back her up or agree with her opinions or whatever it is. For example, I remember a while back, uh, the channel Prim Inc., he made a video like in defense of Trisha Paytas and Trisha Paytas, boop, she retweeted it. All right. But anyways, this Tatiana account, um, I'm glad like it doesn't have that many subscribers. I think it's less than 500, even though that video that Trisha Paytas linked has like over 100,000 views. You know what I mean? Um, but that that channel, it's it's trolling. It's disgusting. Um, they made it. They made a Twitter account that I I 
I checked out for a minute and I, I don't, I don't know it, you know, part of it seems like they're trying to frame Trisha Paytas and make it look like it is her. Like for example, it says, so, f so far all who attack Tatiana have failed because she is not a weak blank blank like my host. So they are pretending to be Trisha Paytas' alter, probably based off of the video Trisha Paytas made about Anthony Padilla going off and saying, oh, that was Tatiana. You know what I mean? So somebody has taken on that persona and made a YouTube channel. It's, it's, it's a troll, um, but <clears throat> the thing is, is here's the difficulty with mental illness of any kind. Like technically, you could tell anybody that they're faking it. And that's one of the reasons why there's such a stigma around it right? You, you know, you could tell somebody that they're faking depression. You could tell somebody that they're faking anxiety. You can say all these different things, right? And I know I got some comments saying that there are brain scans that you could do for DID. There's brain scans that you could do for depression, anxiety, trauma, ADHD, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia. You could do all sorts of brain scans, but I want you to ask yourself real quick, When's the last time that you received a diagnosis or you know someone who received a diagnosis and a brain scan was involved? Chances are there, there wasn't. Like, you can't just go into your primary care doctor, you can't go to your therapist, you can't go to your psychologist and say, hey, <clears throat> I wanna you know, be 100% positive that I have this disorder. Can you, can you refer me out to get a brain scan? They, they typically won't do that. Like, they won't, like your insurance isn't gonna cover it. Um, I remember Logan Paul, what was it? It was around the time, uh, maybe a little bit after Shane Dawson's series with Jake Paul, like Logan Paul went and did a brain scan, but Logan Paul is a millionaire. Logan Paul could do that. All right. So that's one of the things that sucks about mental illness is there's no way to really prove it. And <clears throat> it's, it's what's tricky about the whole mental health field. I think Trisha Paytas is a prime example of that. In recent videos, she has discussed the multitude of diagnoses. Uh, did I say diagnoses? The diagnoses <laughs> that she has received. And I don't have time to go into it in this video, but there are some people who search out a diagnosis, right? Like some people, they don't want to accept the initial diagnosis and they will continue to see therapists, psychologists, doctors, whoever it is, who give them the diagnosis that they want, all right? In the DSM, with all the different disorders, so many of them overlap. But anyways, um, yeah, this Tatiana channel just making hate videos on Dissociate did, like, it's not cool. My suggestion, don't click on them, don't show them attention. But I get, I get it, like, I get it. Everybody's curious, everybody wants to see, and everything like that. These are low quality drama videos. <laughs> like, they are making it with like, I don't know, with just free editing software. It's, it's not great, don't watch their videos. All right, but anyways, please don't forget about the negativity bias. Please, you know, work on gratitude journals, work on, you know, spotting the positives. As a YouTuber, I can tell you, like, I get how difficult it can be. Like, I can get, I can get an entire, I can get a hundred positive comments sometimes and just a few on there just tilt me out, you know? And that's when I got to back away, take a break. Sometimes I don't even check the comments, you know? Uh, like, I'll, I'll try to limit to checking them like once a day. It's just being self-aware of my current state of mental health. You know what I mean? But anyways, I'll link down uh, below Roy Baumeister's book, The Power of Bad. I think everybody should read it. He also talks about, you know, the negativity that we get from the news and why we focus on it and statistics and just, uh, most importantly, there is a chapter in there about relationships and how you suck at relationships because of your negativity bias, all right? I need to stop talking. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books at therewiredsoul.com slash shop, as well as everybody who supports the channel by getting merch from the merch store. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.